you know, if there is one thing I could say to to my um, friends and family members that that we that I don't really speak with anymore, you know, because of uh, the politics of the past few years, we're not what the establishment tells you we are. We are people that want truth and justice, just like you do. You call yeah. it the patriarchy. We call it the establishment. We want the same thing. We want to bring down the unjust system and, and create something fair and just. We all want the same thing. So let's start talking, enjoy Thanksgiving together, and realize that we've just been, uh, we've all been tricked. Hey everybody, Frank Cavanaugh here. Welcome to another Full Metal MAGA. I'm with Greg Reese from InfoWars today, and we wanted to talk to you about not beating the other side, but about winning the other side. So Greg, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Happy thanks Happy Thanksgiving, bro. Happy Thanksgiving, Frank. You know, um, Greg and I go way back. We've known each other since high school, and we've watched this whole thing happen pan out for decades and uh it, it's very special for me to have this conversation with greg today because we're finally seeing everything that we've talked about for years come to fruition and i know greg is on the same page with me on what i want to talk to everybody about and what i want to talk to everybody about is the fact that when you sit down with your family and friends on thanksgiving or any holiday meal over the holidays now Please remember this, we are beating them. We are beating them in the information war. Jeffrey Epstein, the impeachment is falling apart. We're beating them. And this is the point where we can lose the whole war because we have to be like Christ, like when Darth Vader said to Luke Skywalker, give in to the dark side of the force. We need to not beat them, we need to win them. and. I just wanted to have Greg on with me because we both share the same idea that um, it's not it, it, it's about turning the other cheek, not about letting people push you around. So, um, you know, it makes me think of because um, it's something I've been thinking about uh, a lot since through the whole Trump era, because let's go before Trump before Trump, during the Obama era, which I think is the sleepiest time of my lifetime. That's when I watched, you know, after Bush and Cheney, there was kind of a big awakening and there was a sort of nonpartisan awakening uh, that later became the Tea Party and became, and I think that, yeah, I think even when it started as the Tea Party it was already um, exploited and contrived because init initially it was, it was everyone saying we're sick of this. Yes. <clears throat> yep. And then throughout Obama, things got divided and uh, everyone got really sleepy again. And what I noticed during that time was certain people that 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 were unwilling to see because what's the big the big uh, scary thing about conspiracies to people is evil. That's, you know, like 9-11 uh, people. Some people have a hard time imagining the reality that someone would actually kill 3,000 of their own people to, uh, you know, to, to gain power or something. So some people deny evil. And so back to what I was saying about the Obama sleepy time, I, I, re I remember noticing these certain people, these same people that I knew that, that were uh, people I loved, people I, in my family, people I'm close with, who seem to deny the possibility of evil existing, the possibility of evil uh, exploiting other people to, to gain power. These same people would go to a movie and watch a movie about good and evil and watch a movie about the bad guys exploiting the good guys. And they would love that movie and they would cheer for truth and they would boo the bad guy. But in reality, and this is very sad, in reality, because if you are... If it's easy for you to deny the possibility that evil exists, then you can easily be manipulated into some charade to try to prove that evil doesn't exist, including like convincing you that the voices of truth are somehow like evil Nazis 
trying to disrupt this really nice thing that's been going on forever and turning you into like a pawn, into like a weapon to fight against them when really we all want the same thing. Everyone wants to be treated fairly. Everyone wants honesty. Even if you're not aware that there is like some evil out there that's lying to you, you still want truth. I, yes. think, I think so. We have to look at it like this. The information war has been going on for years and, and the alarm's been going off. And when people first wake up in, re, in physiologically, when someone wakes up in the morning, most people don't want to wake up. Most people, they can hear people talking to them, trying to shake them awake and they dream that it's happening. And then when they do wake up, they want to hit the snooze button and go back to sleep. And then after they're out of bed, they're groggy and, and grumpy and don't talk to me until I get my coffee. That's exactly what we're facing now in America is our brothers, our sisters, our spouses, our parents, our kids have been lied to and they've been victims. And instead of we, we must remain emotionally detached and be examples to the people that are listening and watching the debate happen. And we've all been there with people that have the different political ideology. When we finally get them with facts, they get the glazed look goes over their eyes and they get the thousand yard stare. And right there is where we need to stop beating them and we need to win them. We need to win them over to the truth. And the way to do that is to not slap someone when they wake up, hand them a cup of coffee, not tell them you were wrong for thinking this way, saying, hey, you you were scammed and you're a victim. And we're we all, all we we're all scammed. I mean, that's the thing. It's like uh, uh, there's not many of us that that weren't scammed on this one, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. You know, we're already united in that. We're all, and I think we're at the time right now where we can, the seeds have already been planted. Now that we're, there's always, you, everyone has a family member that you always debate with over the holidays. Now's the time that we have already beaten them with facts. Now is the time to win them over with love. And also be an example to the kids at the dinner or the older people at the dinner that are watching this whole thing pan out. How we turn the other cheek. And this is what I think that people get mistaken with how Jesus said, turn the other cheek. He didn't mean get pushed over. He didn't mean get taken advantage of. He took care of the money chambers, the changers in the temple and, and, and turned over their tables. I think there's a thing, the thing that we need to focus on turning the other cheek as when they're down, when they're defeated, and we have the chance to kick them when they're down, turn the other cheek. And instead of kicking them, extend your hand and lift them up and win them over. And then we've won because, as we all know, there's only two ways to live. You can live in love or in fear. And all of our, I don't want to call them adversaries. I want to call them future. There are, there are potential recruits, basically. We, we, don't want to, we don't want to destroy that fact that we're all Americans and we're all in this together and we all want the truth. You're so right. So I want people today and all through the holidays to remember that we can lose even though we've beaten them because we don't want to beat them. We want to win them and we want to win them over to our side. One thing I'd want to tell them as far as like why I support President Trump and why I think I could speak for millions of people as to why they support President Trump is because uh, all the stuff we're talking about in the past several minutes about um, some people seeing the corruption in the world, some people seeing the evil in the world and others staying blind to it. We were all blind to it at one point. We wake up, some people are asleep, some people are awake, blah, 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 blah. That whole thing... Um, you know, before Trump got elected, Trump was like a conspiracy theorist. You know, he was talking about 9-11. He was talking about uh, Big Pharma. He was talking about the Fed. You know, he was like uh, he was like Ron Paul. Yeah. Um, and so I thought, well, he'll never get elected. But that's why I liked him. 
once he got elected, that was a huge red pill moment for me. I woke up and saw that, he, that Trump was elected, that this conspiracy truther was elected president of the United States. Uh, it shattered me a little bit. I was like, what, where am I? What's going on? What reality am I in? And then it, initially at first I thought, well, that just means he's another corrupt uh, owned guy. And he's, you know, it, yeah. was all, it was all a game. But then as time went on, I realized, no, he's actually, it, we got a truther in the White House uh, shaking things up and they're definitely scared and paranoid. So to my liberal friends, I don't even want to say liberal friends. I would say to my friends that that uh, don't think that uh, 9-11 was an inside job, to my friends that don't think that there are parts of the government that are actually willing to actually destroy all of us to, to gain more power and money. To those people, I would say, Look, we we're seeing uh, we're just we're seeing something very dangerous. We're seeing something that's been going on for millennia if you study history. And now we seem to have a guy in the White House. I mean, I don't know where he's going with all of this, but you can't deny the fact that for the past 3 years there has been more people waking up to the injustices than ever before. I mean, it's become the whole Epstein didn't kill himself that's become pop culture now. So now everyone is starting to talk about it and you might think this is a bad thing you might think because this is all just some and i don't mean when i mean when i mean you i mean the 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 person who's still sleeping who still thinks that we're crazy people right now you might think that this is all just nonsense crazy dangerousness that it's spreading but no this is truth we're not what the establishment tells you we are we are people that want truth and justice just like you do you call yeah. it the patriarchy we call it the establishment we want the same thing. We want to bring down the unjust system and, and create something fair and just. We all want the same thing. So let's start talking, enjoy Thanksgiving together, and realize that we've just been, uh, we've all been tricked. And uh, the hard truth is, is that um, it's, it's uh, life can be gross and ugly, and uh, it's not always warm and fuzzy. But once you see that, truth then it really is i think all warm and fuzzy because then you're in reality and you're in truth and you're and you're in the present and then you realize that sometimes the suffering gross parts of life are the best parts of life and you just have to be uh accepting of them and aware of you know and some of us are still being a little brainwashed by the system that we've all been brainwashed by and we just need to come together and take care of this thing with love and grace exactly and you know it we, we we have to we have to to because we we've, we've known the truth for so long and when like you said you were shattered when trump got elected these people our friends our family are shattered and they are in shock and this is the point where we can lose them forever or win them forever. And this is the point where we need to turn the other cheek. When they are down on the ground, do not kick them because they're victims of, it's not a car wreck, it's a world wreck, it's a life wreck, it's a spiritual wreck. And we need to be the first responders now. Instead of being, this, we've been fighting this war and wounding them and the first thing that every soldier learns besides shooting a weapon, or I just should say the second thing, is combat life-saving so that you can save your enemy. And these are not our enemy. These are our family members and our country members who are in shock. And we have to change from being soldiers to first responders and help these people through their shock and make America what it's always been great. It's always been great, I think. And We've just all been brainwashed. So, Greg, thank you so much for talking to me today. Um, I know you're busy. It's Thanksgiving. I'm busy. I just want everyone to know that, um, you know, there's so much to be grateful for. And if everyone, everyone has their own backstory. Everyone already asks, what always asks, what can I do? What can I do? This is what you can do. When you're with your friends and your family members, don't beat them. Win them. Win them over. Win them with love. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Frank.